Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're doing something a little different. We're not talking specifically about cards. However, we're talking about how we're going to ship them in the future. Uh, we've got plans of getting a website started so we can ship out extra product that we don't need and uh, you know many future plans to go along with that. But I found this shippingshields.com, uh, found this really nice product that uh, may be able to take the place of your standard top loader and be more eco-friendly. So uh, let's take a look and see if it's all that it's cracked up to be. All right, guys, here's the package. Let's see if we can open this or if we're gonna need a knife. I normally prefer brute force. Um, so let's see, yeah, there we go. Brute force package opening, let's see. Shipping, being shipped shipping packages. Let's see how it goes. Uh, nothing else in there. There we go, okay, so it's just a giant bag of cardboard, here we go. So we've got our shipping shield uh, info here, our contact, and we've got this sweet sticker, woo, there we go, check that out. So uh, yeah, here they are, here's our first time touching them. We should have 200 of these bad boys. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start taking a look. Before we review this product, I just wanted to take a second to give a huge shout out to Jim at Fab TCG Cards. Incredible human, took the time out of his life to have a conversation with me and my wife uh, on a, how to get us started shipping and starting you know, a little uh, website to get all this stuff out to you guys. And uh, he's the one that recommended this product to me. And uh, so thank you again so much, Jim. But uh, let's get into actually reviewing this product. So uh, first things first, I wanted to take a look at the rigidity, right? Unfortunately, I did not have a clear one uh, that was clean. The rest are all kind of dirty. This is the cleanest one I have. It was shipped to me with my name on it. Oh, well. Uh, what we're looking at here is kind of just like the rigidity of it, right? And so you can see on these kind of cards, there's a little bit of flex here, uh, but not as much this way. I mean, honestly, that's still a decent amount of flex. I'm not applying a ton of pressure, uh, but there's still a decent amount of flex. And this has been kind of the standard in what things are shipped in, right? And uh, we're gonna test it, but I believe what they've said is you can fit about three cards max in here once they're sleeved, but preferably two, I believe. Again, we'll, we'll verify that information. Uh, so again, no bias here. Looks like pretty much the same flex. Uh, maybe a little less in this direction. Uh, no, I think this is fairly, fairly similar. Uh, I really don't feel a huge difference. The one thing I will say is that this way, this way there's hardly any give, uh, whereas this one has quite a bit of give here at this end. Uh, but other than that, being made of cardboard, being made of plastic, I mean, there's really not a huge difference. So that is a huge bonus already. Uh, and this is supposed to hold more cards. So uh, let's check out a few things. So one of the first things I wanted to test out is they say it'll hold 10 cards. I did recently open some Pokemon for a short. So we're just gonna use those cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 is the amount of cards it says that it should fit. So let's just go ahead and kind of crack it open, slide them in and see how easily they go in. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Uh, I am going to attempt to put more cards in here, but I'd say you are pretty flush having uh, having 10 cards. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but 10 cards is pretty much probably all you're going to get in there. Uh, I know this isn't exactly a fair comparison, but we'll try, let's just try four cards and a top loader just for comparison since this is kind of the standard, I think, in how cards are shipped. So we'll throw four cards in there. Four cards, honestly, uh, without damaging it, uh, that's probably all I feel comfortable with. I could probably fit five in there. Um, I mean, that's really tight. Um, so you can see it does hold up to the uh, 10 cards fitting, um, but as most of you know, when you're shipping cards, you don't wanna ship them without, without, without a sleeve. So uh, let's go ahead and sleeve some of these up and see how many we can actually fit, as well as see if we can squeeze any more than 10 into this, which I doubt. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time with this, but we had our 10 previous cards. We're gonna throw an extra card in there. Here's 11, we'll see what happens. Uh, you could definitely get away with 11. 11 will definitely fit. Let's see, can we fit 12? 12 cards. 12 cards will definitely fit. Uh, so again, 13, let's see. Obviously you would not ship them unsleeved, but if you needed to hand these out at like a convention or something, how many was that? That's 12. We actually, if you notice, we're starting to get a little bend in the cards. Uh, so that's probably why they recommended the 10. There, are, uh, there was a bit of a bend. And so that was 13 cards and I could definitely fit more, but you could start to see the cards were starting to bend a little bit. So, uh, you know, that's not gonna be something safe. I just know that when I watch videos, that's something that I think would be cool if 
the um, reviewers would include is like how many cards can you shove in there? Um, so it looks like 13, you could probably fit more, but I would probably, I'd probably just stick with their 10. They, they probably know what they're talking about and uh, we don't wanna damage our cards. But so let's go ahead and sleeve some up and see how many sleeve cards we can fit. Here's that exact stack of 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 cards now in penny sleeves, which is the standard uh, for shipping. You don't want to ship anything or slide anything into a top loader uh, without them being sleeved. So let's just take all 10 and see if, if we wanted to, if we could shove all 10. No. So you can see we're already getting some resistance here. Um, yeah, there's there's no way you're going to ship 10. You shouldn't try that anyway. But again, we're just, we're just going to keep going and see what we can work with. Uh, eight. Eight actually. That's actually eight. Uh, no bending. Uh, again, don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully you can, but eight cards sleeved actually looks like, yeah, eight penny sleeved cards will fit. So that's good to know. Um, I didn't expect eight to fit. Ah, uh, see, there's a problem. It may be a little difficult to get them out. Uh, not something I was really taking into consideration, uh, but let's just try nine just to see. Eight was a little hard to get out. 10 definitely wasn't going in. Um, you could fit nine. No, your top card's starting to bend. So uh, eight, eight is the max sleeved, but again, it's kind of hard to get out and you kind of got to really pinch them to get them out. So uh, you can fit eight sleeved uh, without bending them, but it may be hard for your customer to get out. So uh, my guess is probably gonna be six, but uh, so we had 10, nine, let's go to eight, see if that gets any easier to pull out. Again, this is obviously gonna get worked a little bit, since we're opening it and uh, shoving more and more cards in it. Uh, but that actually feels really good. So uh, let me go ahead and actually grab a brand new one of these just so the comparison is legitimate. Uh, we'll just go off camera here real quick. A brand new one hasn't been touched. This was again, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Let's see if we can sh uh, open a brand new one and see if it's still as easy to pull in and out. So that's seven cards. Obviously wasn't as easy to put in, still no bend. Oh, and they come out perfectly. So just based on you know this one sample size, I would say that seven cards is probably the max you wanna put in one of these when they're penny sleeved. So that's good to know. It's good to know. If you didn't know that, now you know. Just wanted to show as a comparison uh, with your top loaders, I believe what I've heard from the internet is three. So we'll go ahead and uh, just slide these in right here. Uh, so three feels about like eight did. Uh, in the other shit. Yeah, see, I'm like kind of really having to work for this. So I don't want to damage these. You could probably fit three. Probably not a great idea. Really hard to get out. Uh, so you can just see, you know, is this a perfect product? No. Is it great for shipping? Absolutely. Uh, you know, this is going to be great for displaying your cards. It's cool to be able to see them right away if you're at a store or, you know, you're taking them somewhere. You can slide them in there and get great visibility. But when it comes to shipping, uh, I can see why Jim was interested in this and kind of pushed us in this direction to take a look at this company uh, because it's it's just, there's no comparison really. I mean, for shipping purposes, this product is great. I mean, this is the one spot where they really differ and it's right there. I mean, you can see, you know, all the other bends, you know, they're pretty similar, right? There's the same amount of flex, but right here's the big difference right there. You're gonna get zero flex basically out of this container. You're gonna be able to fit you know, more than double the amount of cards, which is awesome. And uh, so I'm really excited uh, about using this product in the future. And uh, so I think that's all we had to go over. If you guys have any more questions or any follow-up you would like us to do, please let us know. Uh, if you were just here for the review, now's your time to leave. However, if you did enjoy this video and you like TCGs and other nerd-related content, please consider sticking around to hear all about the future plans we have. As you guys have seen, we've opened quite a bit of product on the channel and we have a lot of extra product. So uh, what we're trying to do is get a little income back from the cards that we've opened that we don't need. So we plan on opening a store, uh, starting a website, and uh, nothing crazy, just something to kind of move our spare materials. We're not trying to make this a business yet. It's just kind of a way to move product we no longer need and uh, yeah, so we're gonna open up a TG, TCG player store and all that kinds of fun stuff. Uh, what I'm really excited about with this shipping material is that it not only allows us to ship out those cards that we want to sell, it allows me to be able to ship out future giveaway things. You know, Obviously right now we're kind of financially strapped, 
So we're not gonna have a ton of giveaways, but when we do in the future, this will be an awesome way for me to be able to ship that kind of stuff out. And uh, once we get a Patreon, which I fully intend on doing in the future, once our community is large enough, I'll be able to do monthly, you know, um, rewards for your tiers or whatever and that kind of thing and that allows us to ship this product out like that as well also i am still looking for an artist to do our goblin mascot and once we get that goblin mascot i plan on doing a ton of cool merch with it because i plan on getting the highest quality that i possibly can possibly can which hopefully will make you guys interested in picking up all kinds of different types of merch and uh, that'll be a great venue for this website and all these shipping materials we're getting as well. Until next time, guys, really hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we have some more card openings coming your way soon. So until next time, guys, peace.